Okay, so right now I've actually started getting things together for some tumblers I want to do. And this particular decal is a um, lion's head that I made for someone to put on their vehicle. Um, so this is actually permanent vinyl. And I printed out a lion's head and printed it on the vinyl and they can put it actually as a decal on their vehicle so what I'm going to do right now is actually weed out um, so this is like one of the steps you see people um, have different designs and this is how they do it so this vinyl is actually cut out as a lion's head so what I'm going to do is very carefully hopefully is weed it out so you can see the lion and in order to do that, I have to use my tool. Um, and I'm going to take off the part of the vinyl that I don't need. I only need the lion to show. Because this lion is very detailed, it's going to take me some time to actually weed this lion. Um, as you can see, as I'm pulling away, um, is very detailed and so you see that this is the lion and the part that's coming off is the part that I don't need the only thing about doing this is that you have to be careful because sometimes the part you need will try to come off so you have to really really look at it carefully make sure your lighting is good so you can see um, as you're weeding the vinyl piece and um, a lot of people stay away from very detailed um, items because of that reason. Because it's, when it's detailed, it's very hard to peel it away. Because you have to be so careful that you don't peel off parts that you really need to stay. So, this will take me some time, but I wanted to show you guys what really happens when you have things being created for you and it's not just um, so easy to do um, as you can see right here I don't know if you guys can see that but part that's coming up I don't need it to come up because this is part of the lion so that's one of the parts I was telling you, you have to be very careful and really look to see what's peeling up because part of the lion started peeling up at that point. The part of the lion that I need to stay. Um, Sometimes it could be very hard. Sometimes you'll end up doing it and you'll see there's pieces that came up that you didn't even notice came up. Um, very sticky as you can see because it's permanent vinyl. Um, when it's placed on the vehicle it doesn't come off even if it's wet. So trying to be very careful and peel this off so we don't lose our lion but if we lose the lion guess what I'll be reprinting and trying it again because if you know me I'm not gonna let this beat me and it's a lion so until I get this lion I'm not gonna be happy so you see that's the part I don't need as if you see, you can actually see the lion at this point. If you really look at it, you can see the actual lion coming out. So I'm going to continue to peel off what I don't want. That's not part of the decal. It gets very hard on detailed pieces. And this is why we really don't try to do detailed pieces with vinyl because it's so hard it's a challenge so when you guys have shirts and stuff and it's a very detailed picture and they're doing it with vinyl this is what they go through so when they tell you that it's going to cost you just know this is why because this can become very I think some of my pieces are coming up right here. Just caught that. Let's see if I can peel it off. And try to keep as much as I can on there. You can kind of look at it and see when you 
done peeled off too much. You can see my lion. Um, look like a piece or two might have gotten taken off that I didn't want off. Um, but if I look at it carefully, I might can catch some things. Get it from peeling. The lion head at the top is really, really detailed. Um, right here, there's a piece that didn't come up that needed to come up right there. There's some really tiny pieces that you're not going to catch. But if you can overall see your lion, your goal is to see your lion. So if you can get this up with seeing the lion, then you're good. Um, looking at it real close, you can see what pieces you need to pull up. And you just pull them up. And try to keep your lion intact. When I get finished with this, the person will be able to take it on a clean vehicle and place it on their vehicle. And it will stay on their vehicle. Of course, it is a fellow lion. That I'm doing this for so all the lion haters out there yes that's what we're doing don't hate I think that part we need to keep down I have to look at it in detail it's kind of hard to see it this is a piece that needs to stay this is a piece that needs to come up. It's very hard to really tell. Just have to really look at your piece. And as you're peeling it, take your time. Peel the parts that you don't need off. And when it finishes, it will be the outline of the lion. We're almost done, actually. I have some pieces over here I'm not really sure about, so I'm going to revisit those afterwards. But pretty much you get the gist of it all. If you can see in there, I don't know if you guys can see at the top here, it's a lot of detail there that you have to really look to see what you should be peeling up and what you shouldn't be peeling up. This is called weeding, so it gets kind of difficult to tell because the lion hairs is the part that you're dealing with at this point. And um, if it's done correctly, it's really pretty. If you mess up a little bit, it's still really pretty, but when you know you messed up, you kind of... If you're a perfectionist, then you get upset because it's not the way it's supposed to be. That's the only part about doing pieces like this. Making sure that you get what you need up and what you don't need stays. Very detailed. But as you can see, the overall outline is beautiful. It's a lion, of course, it's beautiful. I kind of take my tool and make it flat again. There's some pieces I picked up that I shouldn't have picked up. Revamp it a little bit. Because what you want to do is make sure it's flat so when they get ready to put it on the item, everything is fine I can't even tell if this should be off or on this lion so detailed I can't really tell but I'm gonna be careful because one little thing you move that's not supposed to be moved can mess up your whole design. 
that only you'll see. Nobody else won't see, but you'll know if you're a person that do this. So I'm trying to be careful to make sure I don't do that. It's a piece right here that I know should come up, but it's not, probably didn't cut enough to really come up. So I'm going to maneuver through this. It takes a lot of time. Um, people want nice things, but they don't realize what you go through to make that particular item great for you. So, this right here is a piece that's challenging me. 